Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. What I wanted to talk to you about was how to clone a GitHub repository. And you know what? I'm not going to shortchange it. I'm going to clone a GitHub repository. I'm also going to add a little bit of code to it and I don't know, add, do some staging of those files, do a commit, and push it all back to the server. I'm going to do it all in less than five minutes, so I'll just show you how easy it is. So I've got my list of repositories from my GitHub account here, and I'd like to clone the GitHub Made Easy project. So you can do this yourself. Uh, the repository is simply github.com slash Cameron MCNZ. I'll look at that GitHub Made Easy repository, and you can see there's two files in it. There's the readme and there's the hello world file as well. And so how do you clone this? Well, notice there's that green button there, and that green button has this URL in it, and that URL is used to clone the repository. I mean, you can download your repository too, but that's not gonna give you all the Git goodness. You want that URL. And with that URL, you can open up a terminal window, and you can use GitHub Desktop. There's a bunch of tools, but you know, I mean, it just doesn't get much easier than saying Git clone and providing the URL of the repository. You click enter, all of a sudden the code gets downloaded. This is a public repository, so you don't have to provide credentials even just to, to clone it and bring it down. And you can see right there, there's a GitHub made easy project created. I want to move in there. And you can see the two files that are up on the server, readme and hello world, they're right there. Both of those files have been added in. I can do a git status and you can see that it brought me onto the master branch. I can do an ls-a, that shows you your hidden folders. You notice there's this .git folder, that's where all the configuration is. And you know, from here you can even go in and just start doing some software development. So touch creates a new file and let's say new file.html. Add it to the staging index, which you have to do before you do a commit, and then just do a git commit and put in a good commit message there. And so now you've cloned, you've created a file, you've added it to the index, you've done a commit. If you look at a git ref log, it'll tell you your history of local commits, right? So I've got two, I got the clone, and then I've actually got the commit that I made there. The git log. We'll actually show you all of the commits. The ref logs are personal ones. The git log is everything that's happened. You can see there's that initial commit that happened on the server. Since it's the server, not me, I don't see it on the git, log, git ref log. This isn't important. It's just the point is, you know, this is how easy it is to go in and take a look at what's happening behind the scenes uh, with all of your commit history. Now, after you've cloned, you've made some changes, probably the next thing you want to do is just push, right? You just want your code changes to go to the server. And you notice I've got this new file.html, but it is not on the server. GitHub made easy. I can do a refresh there and you can see definitely not there. Well, how do you get it there? Well, you just do git push. Git push origin's not a bad thing to add in there too, but I, I don't need to. Git push origin is fine because you could git push origin master too. I mean, if you want to specify the branch, but the defaults are just fine. I got to provide my credentials, but after doing that, it now takes my changes and pushes them up to the server. So I've gone to github.com slash Cameron MCNZ, do a little refresh, and there we go. There's the new file.html, and that's, uh, that's how easy it is to clone a repository, write some code, and then push back to it. And there you go. Nothing to it. That's how you clone a GitHub repository. So if you're interested in more GitHub, GitLab, Git tutorials, DevOps stuff, and anything to do with enterprise server-side development, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great articles. And if you're interested in some of my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.